All right, this is Gary. This is Gary's truck. Now, here's the, this is his sand truck, sand dragster, which is quite fast. Um, but Gary has been around since the very beginning, haven't you? Yep. <laughs> yep. So when I first started out in business, uh, I had left dart cylinder heads and went out to get on my own. And I lived in Gary's basement and worked out of Gary's garage. So now Gary's around here helping us out, taking care of little stuff, doing other things. And we take care of his sand dragster for him, his truck. And uh, this thing is pretty bad. Some kind of interesting things, <clears throat> things about the truck. Uh, single mono shock, four link suspension. Which is kind of interesting. It works. <laughs> it's interesting. It works. It's a rear end, big old paddle scoops. Kind of cool. Super light. I don't even know. Do you ever weigh this truck? No. Bet you I can't weigh 2,000 pounds. I want to. I've got the scales in this one. Yeah. So got to do some finished paint work and button up a little stuff on it, but Gary's been working on this truck since I was in his basement, in his garage. It's been that long. And then interestingly enough, check out the uh, where this thing had broken before. And I'll show you a little, uh, or there's a little clip of there, a little picture. And... Uh, uh, this thing was broke. So we built this thing. This thing was running how fast? Three tens. So let's go, it's going three tens and 300 feet. So to give you the illustration, so I mean, that's pretty fast because it's on sand. Uh, my car that goes 650s will go 290s in 330, 330 feet. And this is going 310 on the sand. Actually, I thought, well, I thought it went a little bit faster than that. Oh, three tens all up. Okay. We haven't tuned in. Yeah, way. trying to get it to go to... 290 something itself um so it's fast and then so gary ran it here a couple years ago we finally built all the the engine got everything all sorted out for him and uh one day he says hey this thing is slowed down like how, how much did it slow down oh terribly i said i'm not driving no more there's something wrong <laughs> <laughs> so there's something wrong so he brings it to me and i go huh that's weird starts it up unloads it and I'm sitting here at the timing light, and I'm checking everything all out, and it's running. And I rev it up a little bit, and I see the bottom crankshaft pulley go frontwards and backwards. And I go, oh my gosh, this thing is broke. There's something wrong with this thing. So, check it out. Crazy. It had break, broken. I'm sitting here running it with the uh, center three main bearing main caps all the way around the bulkhead completely broken out of it just hanging there and when we flipped this motor over to take it out i pulled took the front cap shaft or the front main cap off the rear main cap off and pulled the entire crank out with the main bearings and block all attached to it still spinning and it was sitting here running and everything cool yep. so we obviously scrapped that whole deal and did a billet block engine for him. So it's got a billet energy block. This is 400 and I think it's 427, isn't it? I think 427 cubic inch. And uh, with a, uh, this custom set of ported heads it did like 20 years ago. And in fact, this whole thing was kind of like that old, um, but it runs good. So this thing is pretty cool. You want to start it up, Gary? And you see big air filter because the thing runs through fans. So a Pro Charger 123 is what size this is. Makes a little over 2,000 horsepower on the dyno. And uh, runs on methanol, Holly EFI, coil line plug. Man. <laughs> So 
you can hear it. thing's pretty sweet. So anyways, I thought I'd show you uh, just something different. And uh, Gary's always around here doing everything from mowing lawn to uh, helping load, unload, tear some little stuff apart, clean up, fabricate little stuff. And uh, we keep him all engaged in his truck. So he's getting ready to go test this thing tomorrow and uh, for a test and tune session. And uh, I just told him, bring it back over here so we can get it started, make sure everything runs right, get everything set up so you're all ready to go. So anyways, that's Gary. I'm Steve Morris. Have a good day. Cool single wheel go kart tire wheelie bar. Do they ever run a skid plate or do they always have a wheel? I, I had a skid plate at first, then I went to a wheel. Had a skid plate at first? Yeah. And then went to the, the, the big wheel? Yeah. Gotcha. All right, guys, so we are at the track with Gary and uh, his Ranger of Death. So we're getting ready for our first couple passes of the day. Nice, bright, and early in the morning here. And we'll uh, see how it goes. Now, this has been two years and since Gary has actually driven this truck. So we got to brush up on some of his driving skills. So I'm not expecting much from the first pass, but uh, we'll see. Everybody, you're Steve Morris Engines. I'm Steve. This is the All Freedom Engine. If you haven't seen this, go over here to the link. Uh, it'll be down in the description. It'll tell you all about how you can win this engine uh, for like minimal dollar, like five bucks. So, anyways, uh, go see that uh, link down below. You just saw us make that pass uh pretty violent i mean it still came out and turned right but i mean at least it got you know most of the way down the track but you notice why is everything wet in here well it turns out that because i actually tightened this thing right before it went up i think it's actually broke on the inside because if he fires it up it just starts pouring fuel out of it that little female to female there I think it's broke in there because it's tight for sure but he fires it up and it's just pouring out so 
Gary actually did get down the track. It shifted everything. It did everything right. He had to pedal it just because it got way out of shape. But what do you think, Gary? Good? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Loved yeah. it. <laughs> yep. Just have to replace that fitting. And uh, I think this is the end of their season. So uh, I'm going to get off the big end of the track and let some guys pass us. And I'm Kyle, Steve Morris Engines. Have a good one.